I'm in Trish's old um, house. It's a cottage. And uh, she's having trouble with the Rayburn. So I'm... Um, all this is broken. All this um, chimney flue. So I've had to um, repair it. Which... Uh, which I'm in the process of doing. Um, <laughs> it's been a bit of a struggle. But, uh, you know, I like a challenge. Patience is um, required when you do jobs like this. Um, I haven't been able to get this bit of flu. Hang on, I'm going to uh, shine my torch on it. So you can see what I'm doing. Um, I just thought I'd let you know what I was up to today. Um, yeah, I've got um, I've made an awful mess of soot and everything. And uh, there's Elvis on the wall. Yeah, this you can see. Can you see those screws? I've screwed that bit together. I've made a new back plate. That goes against the wall so you can't see it but that's all screwed on and uh this is very awkward isn't it i'll take this bit off because i don't want that on just now anyway that can go down there yeah like that plate that the slider goes on was in two pieces so i've sort of um screwed that in with self-tapping screws that screw there, um, that one there that's sticking out is uh, just a temporary. So yes, yeah, so I've got to, um, I've got to fit this bit of metal here, which is part of the round pipe. That's got a, I've had to cut it in half because I couldn't fit it in. Um, Oh, <laughs> it's only a five minute job. I've been here for about, oh God knows how long, how many days, I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I'm up to. Uh, I'll show you where that goes to. Very interesting house, very old, old. God, this, is this cottage of Trisha's goes back to... Um, 1640 1640 can you imagine that yeah so this is the this is the uh, old fireplace that bit there used to be a, a bread oven and this is the fireplace and the chimney from the rayburn it comes out oh you can't see it can you it's too dark up <laughs> but we're up the chimney so i'll go like that you can see the top of the chimney yeah, so it's a, it's a bit of a job, but I'll, I'll get there. This um, this old clock used to belong to Trisha's. Um, you know Trisha, she's my uh, son George's mum. This old clock used to belong to her dad, and uh, it was too big to go in here, so I dug a hole in the floor. <laughs> so it's about. There's about 18 inches of clock down in in the ground there. You know, I'm a handyman. That's what I do. So yeah. Um, so I'm making the house even more untidier than it usually is, but uh, it'll all be worth it in the end. He says, hopefully, yeah, so now I've got to join this bit of pipe, get it round there, and I've got to add another piece of metal to it. Oh well. I better get on with it. Well, I've somehow got to join this piece of metal into that gap. That gaff will be closed in this piece of metal. As I say, it's a job that requires a tremendous amount of patience and luckily I'm a very, very patient person. Right. Uh, 
and just getting the into position getting it into position as I say it requires a lot of patience oh fuck that and I need that it's good yeah you need you've got him it's one of those jobs where you can't you can't let yourself get too frustrated oh where the hell that bloody thing gone you can't let yourself get too too frustrated you know you just got to take your time patience all the time now i'm just going to screw that through that through there like that and then i've already drilled a hole for it ah oh, it's the wrong that's the wrong that's the wrong fucking screw ah Where the hell did I put those bloody screws small? Oh, oh. bloody hell. Why the hell did I tell Trish I'd do this? Bloody stupid. Ah, oh, try, try and get that. Hopefully. bloody screw but um you can't get frustrated at jobs like this you've just got to, you know you've got to stay calm That's how are you one, getting one of the things what how are you getting on with it Dad? you're the cameraman you're not <laughs> supposed to talk they're not even supposed to know you're here oh. what do you think why do you think i'm getting on with it <laughs> for god's sake oh right <laughs> Now what you've got to do is um, you've got to try you've got to try and remain patient when jobs get you down. That's, I'm known for my patience. I'm known for not getting irritated. How are you getting on with it, Dad? Oh, for God's sake, George, you're only supposed to hold the camera. You're not supposed to talk. You're the cameraman. Oh, I was just asking. Why does it look like I'm getting on? Well, you said about patience, and I thought... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm getting on fine, George. Thanks very much for asking. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Oh, dear. I've broken the drill brick now. Oh, dear. Good job, I'm a patient guy. Anyway, I'll turn off and get on. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Why the hell did I agree to do this? Oh, whoops. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this bit of chimney on there. Ah. Oh, oh. Are burning out. Oh. <coughs> oh. 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 oh, it's such good fun. Oh, my God, the new boots. Last time ever. Oh, I need to get some more of this. Oh no, that faded back. Good. Oh. <sighs> 
every time. I'll give it a light now. See if it works. I mean, this is how you light a ray then, but it's just to dry the cement off. Let's see if it, um, let's see if the smoke goes in the right place. The damper closed. No. Well, no sign of any smoke leakages. Open the door. Close that down. Ah. There, just a bit of paint on that. Make that nice and black again. And uh, off your uncle. Hi, John. Hi. Hi, love. How's it going? Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Done, I've finished. Oh, crumbs, that was quick. Any problems? No, no problems at all. Great, thank you very Piece much. Of well, that's very You're nice welcome. of you. Very, very grateful. Now yeah. we can be warm and have some hot water. Yeah. Thanks. You're Job welcome, well done. Love. Job well done. Just put it on the bill. Okay. I've saved you a couple of grand there, yes, I think. I think you have. Bye bye, love. Bye. Of course, now that I've sorted the rayburn. And Trish can get the hot water from now. I've now got to turn off the solar heating, which um, this switch never works, so I have to, to bugger about with that. I've got to try and, try and get into that with a screwdriver without electrocuting myself. And I don't, don't remember. Every year I have to do this. But no one knows how to mend it. And uh, every year I just have to bugger about doing this. Without killing myself. Uh, I'll try and turn that. Uh, and one day these cogs will be so worn out. Moving. I think I'm. Oh, ouch. Fuck. I slipped. Oh, I think I've done it though. Oh. This house. Did I tell you? It was built in 1644. Um, the foundation of this house, this very, very old house, are non-existent. There's not even a foot of foundation, and yet it's been here all those years. And nowadays, modern buildings around this area have to have um, footings uh, about two meters deep incredible great lumps of concrete anyway 
Trish will be pleased. I've done that. Uh, now I can go and I think the first thing I better do is have a shower. I'm covered in soot, sweat. Uh, it's all. It's all in a good cause. Oh. Now I've got to negotiate this very narrow stairway because they uh, they <laughs> they had narrow stairways in 1640 or whenever 1640 I'll say 1640 could ever say 1644 people say how do you know down to 44 ah uh, yeah anyway that's me uh, about, uh, negotiated the stairs. Well, I um, I never got to tidy up and have my shower yet because I came back to the old homestead and realised that uh, poor old Mia hadn't had her walk today because I've been busy running backwards and forwards and uh, it's not fair on her so we're having a walk now. I thought I'd um, just explain a little bit about um, Trisha. Um, you may not know this because you might not have seen any of the videos, but Trisha is my ex-partner. She's um, she's my son George's mum, and uh, Trisha's a really, really lovely lady. And uh, we're we're still very good friends, even though she's my ex. Um, yeah, so uh, you know, I get my electricity supply and water from Trish's um, premises, and uh, in return, I do you know, odd jobs around the house, and if if I can, things like that. Um, yeah, so that's it. You know, she, she's a, a very lovely lady, and uh, unfortunately, it's another relationship that I messed up. But for some reason, I still manage to stay friends with people, even though I, I'm talking about relationships that are broken. I still manage to stay friends with them uh, for some odd reason. Which is great, and especially as far as Trish is concerned, because of uh, George. And it's great that they're so nearby. And I just thought I'd let you know that. And uh, we're going to carry on our walk. And uh, thanks for looking in. Um, all that um, being nasty. And losing it, my patience. That was cool. So you do realise that was all scripted, all part of the fun. Okay. Take care. See you later. <laughs>